And they'll be moving the furniture in this weekend. That's awesome. Yeah. Houses are great. Yeah, love, uh, love living in a house. I prefer it to being homeless. Most would. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, the idiots of Corbin. I'm Rick. Also, Instagram, Instagram and Twitter. Twitter. And Twitter. So, Twitter. Also, I'm Percy. Hello. Today, yeah, we're gonna do Fafa trailer. Watch your language, pal. My dost Fafa. Uh, yeah, we. I heard about this. I was like, whoa, there's another one. So apparently this was supposed to come out and I just got pushed. Mm. Uh, but this is apparently like one of the most anticipated ones from Fafa because he's done, he, I, 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 from what I'm told, a big transformation for this role. Okay. Which I think he does a big transformation for like every role. I do, I, I do uh, too. <laughs> uh, so I, I don't know. I don't know anything about it currently. Okay. It's directed by... Um, so this isn't one we did a teaser of recently. This is another film? A different film. So this is like his third film in five, six months that we're knowing yeah, about. It might be from the same director as See You Soon. Yeah. Because that, that's the one we actually watched, which was back in the fall. And then we did the teaser recently, and then we have this. Yeah, so let me... It might... I think I heard it was directed by that same guy uh, as See You Soon. Mm -hmm. So they might have teamed up again. Um, or that might have been the second one, because they filmed that during quarantine. Yeah. So this it is guy... Is director? Oh, it's a very acclaimed director, because he also did Takeoff, which we haven't seen, but I've heard a lot about. Um... Let's see. So he did See You Soon. He's directed. also done other work as an editor. It looks like he's a cinematographer. Yeah. He's, looks like done what he quite is. a bit of work. He directed, directing, editing, take writing. So Take Off, I know, is another big one. A lot one. of editing. So I'm, I bet he was like an editor or cinematographer. <sighs> ton of editing. Wow, he's, he's a big editor. Good night. Well, See You Soon was a really good edited film. So that makes sense. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so I don't know anything about this, so we're going to go into this blind. Some people hate that. Sorry. Uh... <laughs> Some people, I can't, the number of comments I've seen, whether it was a reaction or a review, where it was like, you should have done better research. Whew. Whatever, man. Not if uh, there's other channels. So, <laughs> here we go. This is a work of fiction, like our life. Yes. ൂടെ <laughs> <laughs> His voice is different. Yeah, everything. He also lost weight. Oh, whoa! Flashback. Oh, so he goes through a big change in the film. He might be telling his wife, maybe? Yeah. ഒരു പ്രൊവോക്കേഷൻ ഇല്ലാതെ റീൻഫോഴ്സ്മെന്റ് കൊണ്ട് അയക്കാൻ പറ്റത്തില്ല എന്തിനെങ്കിലും പേരിൽ ഒരു പരാതി അവിടെ നിന്ന് വയ്ക്കും സാർ പിടിച്ച അമരനെ വെച്ചാൽ കൂടെ എന്റെ അനിയന് വേണ്ടിയിട്ടാണ് സുലൈമാൻ അത് ചെയ്തത് His performance, one, it looks like he's gonna he's gonna go through like the life of of yeah, this, this, this man and in, in, in his his arc and his this story. Is it based off a true story? Well, it said at the outset. Remember, it said this is a work of fiction, so I don't know a fiction based off a real person. Right? Though? Is it is it fiction based off of true events? Because it looks like it is based on something actual. Let me see here. Uh, and I believe you're correct. I think he did something to his vocal template. Yeah, it, that's not his normal voice. No. His voice is lo higher, usually. Yeah, he did, uh, he did a vocal cr creation. That's more character. of like a Mohanal deep voice yeah. uh, to it. A boy born with wings must hide it from society until an incident forces him to use them. 
His orphanage and his love interest are the only ones who know about his gifts. Like real wings? Like I, Birdman? I, 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 or is I, this a metaphorical I, wing? I, yeah, it doesn't. If that's like real wings, I'm I'm, I'm very in to well, whatever there, work of fiction we're talking about. There here. was and there was nothing in the trailer to show us that. Yeah, I did not get that. This guy has wings, <laughs> but maybe that's why they're after him. I don't know. I did not get that. So maybe that synopsis is very. Or it's talking like a metaphorical, very meta wings. This guy has wings, and somebody clipped his wings. You know? Yeah. That's, I, maybe that's not what I got, but if it is like, oh is, no, I got, I know what it is. This we is should have known, man. We should have known this. No, you know what this is? This is this is their version of Maleficent. That's all it is. Yeah. Hey, I'm I'm into that. I don't care if it is real wing. It, I would be very interested to see how you pull that off. Yeah, because that would be extremely interesting. That's not what I got from the trailer. I got like no, a very if real it's, powerful if it's metaphorical, story. I got that from the trailer. Yeah. But if we're talking that he has literal wings that he's hiding in his that are attached to his body, they didn't give Yeah, yeah they didn't a get... hint to that at all. But it looked I mean the, the bottom line is there's there are a handful of actors that if they're in it, we want to watch it cuz we've learned enough about them that we want to see their work. Uh, Fafa is one of those. And he is one of those actors. It's way up for us. So if he's in something, we want to see it. Irrespective of that, that looked like a very interesting and powerful trailer. Yeah, I would definitely be interested. I'm trying to see if it, when it comes out. I... Did you find anything about May it that's based on true events? Uh, I did not. But, man, does Fahad Fasil have like... I, I know he has the saying, he has the most powerful eyes in all of uh, mm. Indian cinema. And the dude does. He has very unique, deep eyes. Yeah, he has very deep eyes. And he he can also portray a lot by not doing anything outside of acting, mm -hmm. acting with his eyes. Yeah. Uh, he, he's really, which is something that only really talented actors Well, can do. it also falls into the category of, That's uh, almost like, if, does the camera love you or not? Look at that. That almost feels like Daniel Day Lewis. Like if you, if you did, if he was more white, yeah, yeah, like but he has the, uh, like especially right here. I don't know if he lost weight or what. He did. He looked more slender and the older, the bearded and gray. He looks great with a beard. This character, this he had lost. He had lost some weight, and has done something to his, his vocal template. It says it is inspired by a true story. So you read that? Reports are that Malik is based on a true story and that it covers different time periods starting from the 1960s. It's said to be a film set in the coastal region where the minorities are under threat to be relocated and the hero is responsible for starting a rebellion movement. Okay, so it sounds like that was a metaphorical thing that IMDb was saying. <laughs> and that makes more sense based off what I saw. Yeah, yeah. But, but if he has real wings, I makes swear really cool. that will be amazing. <laughs> I would love to see it. Fafa -fa flying everywhere. <laughs> That's what? what he says when he Fafa. -fa! I would <laughs> Fafa. -fa! Wow. I love Fafa. -fa. I would love. Well, now you're speaking of that. He'd be a great choice for India to do their own version of Birdman. Oh, yeah, easily. He'd be great. Yeah, he'd be good at any role, but absolutely, he could definitely do a Birdman role. Might be too young. Well, seeing him in this... Yeah, I guess with the beard... He it, it does do help. It. You need to be a guy that's... Mm, he'd have to age, because you really need to be You need to look to like you're past your prime. Yeah, you need to look like you're closer to 60, like like Keaton is in the yeah. film. If you haven't seen Birdman, especially if you're an actor, that's a, that's an actor's film right there, man. Every such performance in that film. is such a great film. It's shot by Alejandro Nirito. It's an incredible film. One of my favorites of like the past 20 years. 100%. It might be agreed. number one. I love that film so much. It was a film that we all went and saw together. And when we walked out, we looked at each other. We're like, well, that's the best film of the year. Oh, easily. And it was. It won the Oscar. I love that. Everybody knew it. But yeah, this looks great. I, uh, we get more Fafa this year? Yeah. I'm very happy about Good. that. Uh, so uh, outside of these, though, what should be our next Fafa film? Do you have uh, Fafa at IFA? Because that would be great. What? Fafa at IFA. I fa uh, I fa 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 I fa 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 I fa 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 If fa, 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 fa performed at I fa, he would just be doing like scenes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's like be, a black box. Theater. There would be no musical numbers. There would be black box theater. Uh, I fa, and then here goes Fahad Fasil. Scene, scene. 
Can't wait. Let us know what else we need to know about this down below. Look, my head's